Go Badgers! In just 18 days, on October 22nd, Wisconsin gets to start voting early. So you can register and vote at your early vote location. And if you need to find out where it is, go to vote.barackobama.com, find out where, when, how to vote. Now, uh, some of you may have heard, uh, last night we had our first debate. And uh, yeah, I, I just flew in from Denver and, and I was telling folks there, when I got on the stage, I met this very spirited fellow who claimed to be Mitt Romney. <laughs> but I know it couldn't have been Mitt Romney, because the real Mitt Romney has been running around the country for the last year promising $5 trillion in tax cuts that favor the wealthy, and yet the fellow on the stage last night, who looked like Mitt Romney, said he did not know anything about that. It, it, was, it was all news to him. The real Mitt Romney said that we don't need any more teachers in the classroom. Don't boo, vote. The fellow on stage last night, he said he loves teachers. Can't get enough of them. The Mitt Romney, we all know, invested in companies that were called pioneers of outsourcing jobs to other countries. But the guy on stage last night, he said he'd never heard of tax breaks for companies that ship jobs overseas. <laughs> never heard of them. And he said, if that's true, he must need a new accountant. So now we know for sure that wasn't the real Mitt Romney, because the real Mitt Romney is doing just fine with the accountant that he already has. Governor Romney may dance around his positions. He may do a tap dance and a two-step. But if you want to be president, then you owe the American people the truth. So here's the truth. Governor Romney cannot pay for his $5 trillion tax plan without blowing up the deficit or sticking it to the middle class. We can't afford to go down that road again. We can't afford another round of budget-busting tax cuts for the wealthy. We can't afford to gut our investments in education or clean energy or research or technology. We can't afford to roll back regulations on Wall Street banks or oil companies or insurance companies. We can't afford to double down on the same top-down economic policies that got us into this mess. That is not a jobs plan. It's not a plan for our economy. It's not a plan to strengthen the middle class. It is not change. It is a relapse. And we're not going to do it. We have been there. We have tried that. We are not going back. We're moving forward. I've always said change doesn't happen in one year or one term or even one president. It doesn't happen with one political party. Change happens because everybody gets involved and says it's going to happen. It's, it certainly can't happen uh, if you're someone who, who wants to lead the nation but writes off half the nation before you even take office. I'm not fighting on behalf of values that are rich or poor or business or worker. I'm, I'm fighting for those American values of hard work and looking out for one another, and they belong to all of us. And if we rally around those values, if we have a genuine sense of, of patriotism about how we build an economy where everybody's getting a fair shot, then we're going to strengthen the middle class, and we're going to keep moving forward. And I believe that our politics is not as divided as it seems sometimes. I still believe in the American people. They are what gives me strength every single day. They are what gets me up in the morning, and they're what I'm thinking about when I go to bed at night. I believe in you. I'm asking you to keep believing in me. I'm asking for your vote. And if you stand with me and work with me, we will win Madison again. We'll win Wisconsin again.
will finish what we started in 2008 and remind the world why the United States of America is the greatest nation on earth. God bless you, Madison. God bless you, Wisconsin. God bless the United States of America.